Check this out. This is a $1.3 billion proposal for a riverfront entertainment district in Middletown, mm. and it's being presented to city leaders as we speak. WCPO 9 News reporter Taylor Nimmo tells us what it could mean for Middletown's community and economy. Now, the development would include an amusement park called Hollywood Land. I just spoke to the owner of Triple Moon Coffee right here in downtown Middletown, and she tells me this could change everything for them. My hopes is that it creates revenue in the city that we desperately need. Everything that we've all complained that we don't have, this will give to us. The development is expected to include three hotels, a major indoor entertainment and concert venue, an indoor amusement park, and more. It is projected to be between $1.3 and $1.8 billion. The great news about that is that will cost nothing for the city of Middletown. The citizens will not be on the hook for any of it, and there will be no local taxes at all used for this project. If approved, the city will utilize over $1 billion in private investment and $7.5 million of American Rescue Plan Act funds towards the project. We're talking about an investment of over a billion and a half dollars, thousands of jobs. The kind of investment and that follow-up spin-off effect that this will have will be quite remarkable. Beyond that, it will create a brand new industry, not just for Middletown, but for the state of Ohio. And what it will do is it will bring the film industry, the motion picture industry to this community. Owner of Triple Moon Coffee, Heather Gibson, believes this is a great opportunity for the city. I don't know how anybody in this town would say no to this. I'm sure this project will take you know, years to, to get off the ground, but um, I believe that just knowing it's happening, the, the investment ahead of time, will probably change the face of who we are even before it gets off the ground. As far as next steps, the development plan will be presented tonight at City Council's meeting. They will then vote on it on October 21st, and Rashi tells me the hope is then to get started in November. Reporting from downtown Middletown, Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News.